If you guys want to get yourself some free shark cards in GTA Online, check out at Bounty.net and use invite code CHAOTIC. What is going on guys, my name is Chaotic and welcome back to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video here on my channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to be sharing 10 things with you guys that you may not know about the latest update in GTA Online, the Special Vehicle Circuits update, which of course was released into GTA Online earlier today. Now despite this update being fairly small in the terms of content, we literally only received one new vehicle today, that being the Progen GP1 and 20 new Special Vehicle Stunt Races. There are in fact quite a few things about this update which you guys may not know. So let's get straight into things. And to start things off, let's begin with the hidden and unreleased content in the update itself. So to start things off then, there are three unreleased vehicles, these being the Hijack Ruston, the Infernus Classic, and the Turismo Classic, which will be released in that order starting from next week. I've already talked about these vehicles in more detail in a previous video. You guys, of course, can go ahead and check out that video if you guys want to for some more images, information on the prices, and much, much more. There will be a link in the description. But we have those three vehicles to look forward to, like I said, starting from next week. There's also roughly 100 new stunt props added with this update, which aren't available as of right now to the community to use when making their very own jobs and races. But again, these will, of course, be made available at some point over the next few weeks in a special events and the special vehicles also haven't been added to the stunt creator so again the community can't make their very own special vehicle stunt races as Rockstar previously insinuated. Anyway but those are a few things to look forward to over the next few weeks. As for the Progen GP1 which is available right now in GT Online it's one of the cheapest supercars in game only costing $1,260,000. It also has a lot of customization options available for it as well and it has a few pretty cool features as well such as scissor doors but unfortunately the car has one major downside that being its overall top speed unfortunately it's one of the slowest cars in the supercar category coming in at the 11th fastest car in game with a top speed of 123 miles an hour which at first may not sound too bad it also has a decent acceleration as well so off the line it will beat a lot of cars but unfortunately when going around a track it's actually one of the worst cars in the supercar category due to its poor handling and brakes so that is certainly very disappointing and something else also disappointing which you guys may not know involves the pre-customized cars which you can sometimes find around the map such as the sentinel which spawns just down the road from the eclipse towers you can sometimes find these as well down at the custom shop alongside some pre-customized dominators the Ruiner. You can also find the pre-customized Dubster 2 as well, which sells for a decent amount of money. But supposedly, since the release of this update this morning, you can no longer steal any of these cars. When trying to get into them, it will say, you do not have access to these personal vehicles. So unfortunately, it is impossible to steal them to try and take them back to your garage or sell them. And that applies to all of the pre-customized cars, which can be found at any location around the map. Now, I haven't actually tried this out for myself, but a few people, both on Twitter and various different game forums, have reported this issue. Anyway, but moving on to some new changes and additions made with this update. First of all, you can now purchase all the heist content without playing any of the heist missions. Now previously you had to complete the according heist missions to unlock select content. But from this point forward you can now buy all the heist content without playing any missions whatsoever but in a very similar way to the import and export special vehicles. If you want to buy the heist content without playing the according heist missions you'll have to pay an increased price which is typically around about 20% extra. And the same applies to the Rhino Tank, the Annihilator Helicopter, and the Buzzard Helicopter. These vehicles are now available to everyone, no matter what rank. Whereas previously, you had to be rank 100 to get these vehicles. Now, whilst from the topic of military content, as I'm sure you guys know, the next update planned for GT Online is a gun-running military-themed update. And as it turns out, the update which we received today contains a lot of hidden content in preparation of the next update. This was shared earlier today by TezFunds2 on Twitter, who said, New blips added with a recent update. No in-game text found, so most likely just planned for the next DLC. Basically what he's saying there is that this content won't be available at some point over the next few weeks. 
So the two items which he found are radar supplies, so an icon for the map, which of course will be ammunition which we can steal and transport across the map, and the other one being radar property bunker. So by the looks of things, in the next update, this gun running update, there is going to be a new property type, a new warehouse at least, which will be a military bunker. So that's pretty awesome, but right now in GTA Online, there is a double money and RP bonus when playing any of the 20 new special vehicle stunt races between now and next next week on Wednesday, March the 22nd. Now, if you guys haven't played any of these new special vehicle races, I would definitely recommend doing so. They're actually loads and loads of fun, and if you're playing with a few friends, you can actually make a lot of money from these as well. Only today, when live streaming, we had around about 10 players in the game, and first place earned over $50,000. There's also a few discounts right now in GT Online until March 22nd, so you can save 25% off the following items. Stilt houses, penthouse apartments, the Progen T20, all engine upgrades, turbo upgrades, exhausts, spoilers, submachine guns from ammunition, body armor, and all import and export clothing. Now, if you guys have played any races in GT Online today, you may have noticed a brand new feature in the race menu, which allows you to turn on aggregate position. Now basically what this does is present every player in the race with a bar that fills up at different speeds depending on what position the player is in. When the option is enabled in a lap race, the race ends when one player has completely filled their bar. In a point-to-point -point race, the player with the most filled bar at the end of the race is the winner. So basically if you're in first, your bar will fill up quicker. In second place, it'll be slightly slower, third place, slightly slower again, and so on. I'm sure you guys get the point. But with this feature enabled, it's still technically possible to win the race even if you're in last place. So let's say you're in first place for most of the race, but for one reason or another, you fell to the back, maybe you span off, maybe you were knocked off the track or whatever, but your bar was almost filled. If you then continue on driving and of course fill your bar up despite being in last place, you still win. Anyway, so moving on then, you guys may recall last week, Rockstar disabled the character transfer feature, so you can no longer transfer characters from a PS3 or Xbox 360 to an Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC. But at some point very, very soon, the exclusive vehicles only available to returning players in story mode, such as the Duco Death, will now be available to all players, no matter whether you're a returning player or not. And it's also suggested as well, these vehicles will be added to online as well at some point in the very near future. So vehicles such as the Duco Death, which aren't available right now online, will supposedly be available very, very soon. But according to information in the game files and the tunables, Rockstar intend to enable these vehicles online at some point in the very near future. Anyway, so with that being said, those are 10 things in GTA Online which you may not know about the latest update. Hopefully you guys have learned a few things in this video. If you guys could go ahead and leave a comment and let me know your thoughts and feelings about these things, it would be greatly appreciated. Of course, also drop a like as well as it helps me out a lot. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, I'd recommend that you do because I upload all the latest and the greatest Grand Theft Auto 5 content. So as always guys, thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time.